all right guys welcome back to another video my name is mehul and in this one let's just get some data from internet and display it to users and i'm talking about some movies right so let's just continue with what we left last time that is on this particular header so i'm just going to go ahead and instead of this button i'm going to create another component called movies <clears throat> right and let's just create this component real quick inside the components folder called movies and what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and create index.tsx inside this. And we're going to need another component called movie, which would be an individual component for this particular movie, right? <clears throat> and I'm just going to go ahead and just initialize this from a really small snippet. And I should rather just, you know, make this a snippet instead of like typing this all along the whole time. But anyway similarly for this that we would have a movie and export default of movie and here we would have export default of movies right so so far so good now what we want to do is we actually want to get some movies right and i'm just gonna make use of an open movie api kind of thing and this is basically the open movie database or something like that I'm just going to show this to you, OMD, the API.com. So this site just provides you the movies and stuff. So if you want to follow along, you can just get an API key for free here. Just go to API key, enter your email address, and you'll just get that. And I just did that. And uh, my API key is this. So if you want to use it, you can just go ahead and use my API key because, you know, I'll be not using this anyway after this uh, video so yeah but it has a limit of 1000 users so if you don't you know get to use this you can just always go ahead and create your so anyway so oops oh, what did I do okay so we are back on track now what I want to do is I want to make use of the API key to retrieve some movies right so let me just go ahead and first of all, go to omdbapi.com, right? So that's how you spell it, I guess. All right, so once we have this, so we can just go ahead and uh, see how to work with the API in short. So this API does not give us a lot of, you know, gears to turn in and out, but still, I guess we can just make use of this kind of in a way. So let's just go ahead and see how what we can do. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm just going to throw in a use effect real quick so that we just don't, you know, pollute our network request a lot. So this would run only once, right? And once this runs, what, we have, what I want to do is I want to fetch this particular thing. So I'm just going to copy this thing right here and paste it. Oops, what's happening? I guess I copied that line again. So anyway, an API is my API key. So there we are. Once we do that, we're gonna get result, which is supposed to be JSON. And then with the result, I just want to console log to see what we are getting back, right? So, and yeah, so now we can just return null from here. So that React does not complain. All right, so once we do that, let's just open console so that we can have our console in place. Let's see what's going on here. We can just return null as well so that TypeScript does not complain. And let's just wait for it to build it. And of course, you need to import the movies first of all anyway. Right, so components, movies, there we are. So once you do that, you should be good to go. All right, so once the page loads, you're gonna see that we get no API key provided, but that should not be the case because, oh, it should be API key. All right, so not API, there we go. So once we do that, we should be good to go. And the response we are getting, is this right here right so we get a single movie with all the information and stuff 
with the producer poster and stuff so i guess for the character part instead of like using a single letter for the api what we can do is we can use the search search thing right so let's see by title or by search so let's just replace this t with s and see what happens so now we get too many results and uh, we can pass in the page number so that's good so i'm just going to pass in the page page as one because we just want the first page to be returned and let's see if that helps us so once we do that we're gonna see it still gives us too many results all right so this isn't working like we expected so i'm just gonna go ahead and create some you know series of movies so we're just gonna get those so i'm gonna start off with uh, avengers you know fast and furious uh maybe iron man i don't know let's see harry potter and uh, what else do we have let's just keep it to it for now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say series dot for each series i'm just gonna say this thing right so i'm just gonna say this is series of i but this should be <clears throat> encode uri component right because we have spaces and stuff in there and there we go so once we do that we should be able to reload see how it's looking and we have a lot of errors i is not defined because oops actually we don't need that because we already have the current running series inside that so that should take care of that right <clears throat> and once we do that we're gonna see that we get four results with 10 10 10 10 movies right so there we are for all of our work so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass in all the stuff into the movie and before that what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna create a thing here instead of like sending it to result i'm gonna say const movies is just a you know use state variable with an empty array and there should be movies comma set movies right and what i really want to do is i want to wait for all of these promises to resolve first of all and then i want to actually you know wait for the movies so i'm going to create a map instead of a instead of a for each and i'm going to say const promises as this right so this would contain all the promises of this particular loop which we have right so it would be all we want them all to resolve so i'm going to say promises dot or actually not this promise dot all that is it creates a promise that is resolved with an array of results when all of the provided promises resolve right so this is what we want promises once this wins one once this happens what i want is i want to get all the movies and i want to set movies to movies right so there we are and what we need to do here is just say any for now because you know typescript but anyway you can obviously define the kind of movie which we which we would be we would be getting that is this particular syntax but i'm not going to do it right now so anyway so once we have that what i'm going to do is i'm going to say movies dot for movies dot map uh, movie once we have a single movie i'm going to say return div class name 
movie and right here I'm gonna say IMG SRC this gives us this particular oops we missed it all right so let's just wait for this and we're just gonna need the all right guys so long story short the the clip which you were just seeing got corrupted in between and i just had i just realized it when i was rendering this video so anyway i'll just try to connect you from the future this is a future uh snippet so don't get twisted just just make sure you're on the same page so this should not be props here this should be just movies.map movie just any any written here right and then we are using our movie component which we created right so we are passing in the key which is obviously required when you're looping over uh, a list we are passing in the title year and image for now this should be a little bit different because um you know when we are doing set movies we are actually doing um or, or actually let me just show you this real quick so how do you want to set movies is basically whatever we are movies we are receiving from the promise is we want to actually map them over the movie and we want to retrieve the search field because you can see earlier that the movies contained the search field within them and it was an array of array so we would just extract all those array we would flatten the array of arrays and then we would finally map over the movie which would give us an actual movie of us in the api and then we'll retrieve the title the year the image which is uh, in the form of poster and the imdb rating so once we have that we just you know get that in the updated movie and we set the movies to that now again this snippet is from the future so don't get it twisted right now just continue with the previous build so once we update the set movies we can access them right here in the movies with this 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 particular information right and the movie component is pretty simple as well it just displays this particular information nice and easy props title gives me movie then image then the h3 right so that would be the year of the movie so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and you'll be back in the loop from the next video trust me so that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next one